All right, we are starting. I don't know if you can see you. That light is terrible. <laughs> so we got Carl out. You've already seen him in the last video. He took our, our 59 for a boot. Uh, anyways, today's plan, I think we're gonna try to fix said power hammer right now. Power hammer, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah so some good. of you folks know, have seen this. This thing's pretty buggered up. So we haven't quite got a full game plan. I think we're gonna take another differential like I've done and uh, cut it down and build similar to what I got. I picked up some bearings and something we'll use as a bushing inside of here. Get that out of the way. And hopefully we can free up this stuff and... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Full sounds, rebuild. Sounds simple. One day rebuild. <laughs> It just has to smash stuff. Like, as long as it does this, we're good. That's all it needs to do. So anyways, that's the plan. I'm going to go get the tractor. And uh, it'll be easier to be in the nice, cool shop to uh, work on this thing. Start cutting it apart. i got to go there, and then we'll have to go grab another random diff. I think this time, this is a Dodge diff, and it's going to get upgraded to... Uh, a Chevy uh, <laughs> 7.5, I think, is the, uh, the new version. Bam! All right. I like it. Unless we find something cooler to use, I don't know, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out <laughs> whatever we got at our disposal, right? So I had this little rear end that a buddy of mine had uh, left here. I think he wanted to make a couch out of it. Still might. I think it's like an Envoy or something like that. That's what it's called. Anyways, it's got a really small diff. So I'm thinking we're going to use that diff. Well, we are going to use it. We pulled it out. Uh, the plan is to use that because I'm worried about the S10 diff being bigger and maybe one of the tubes longer than that. I think that thing came from a Dodge Dart. So I don't have that anymore. So I feel if I use a smaller diff, we can probably get it in relation and sitting properly. Uh, yeah. Anyways, Carl's just cleaning all the gunk off the diff here. And uh, we'll be able to, well, right away, we're going to bring that in, kind of measure up and see what we're, what we're cutting apart here. <laughs> I think you can just cut. Ah, but it don't matter. We'll figure it out after. We'll be able to just cut whatever off. Because it's a pretty simple cable. I think we'll have to just sledgehammer the drums and see if we can get at least one side free. I don't need the variable speed as of yet. Maybe if we can get it to work, but it'd be cool. It's got an exterior cable for that. Yeah. I just don't think I have long cables. Mind you, if we put a pivot somewhere. <laughs> Make it funky. <laughs> All right, so we got our diff in, and we've been beating on the drums. We got one side loose, which is good, so that'll be our, our brake side. 
And the other side's no, not cooperating, so that's the side we're just going to viciously torch the drum off of. And that'll be the side we're going to put the hub on, where it'll have the mechanical arm to swing and do stuff. Uh, and then this side will stay all remain. This side will end up cutting down, just so it fits within my the, the realm of my power hammer, anyway. <laughs> Propane's a little different beast. Yeah. You could have too much. Alrighty folks, so many of you have seen this and we have used it before. I have bought some bearings. I'm hoping I got all the right ones. We got some new bearings. So I'm guessing the races should be good. If they're not, we'll have to do a run to town and grab some stuff. But uh, yeah, as you can see, maybe you haven't seen it, but I, uh, if we have our adjustability, we go in here. There's supposed to be some slides in there. I have a slide up on top where I can adjust how hard of a throw I want. And I just used an old Dodge differential that I cut one side down. And then we had the motor mounted off to the side. So I'm trying to keep Carl from turning it into a gas powered power hammer. <laughs> I, just, I just saw the mini bike and I was like, you know what, we can just, we can just weld that right on top. And then just put those bearings on the wheel and we'd be done. You could just have a belt right down have the mini bike off the bottom <laughs> anyways carl's pretty much on torch duty he's going to be torching everything else off i'm going to sit and unbolt everything i can up off the front of here to see if what i can and can't replace this thing we're going to loosen up but i do have a different head i would really like to put on actually it's just a much nicer and it locks better than the setup i have on there Let's see if i can find it i guess i'll find it later i know i have it somewhere <laughs> <laughs> Carl's just getting used to the whole propane thing. I don't think he's enjoying it. <laughs> Settle in, man. World's hottest gas. <laughs> Thank you
have some good will. Okay then. I'm not going on up here. Uh, yeah, it's gotta go back a bit. Yeah. Okay, I'll lift it back. Push. Hit. I'm not sure where this is yet. But yeah. I think got okay. this or just okay. dash that off. Okay. I think that just goes off. So if I look at that, I just rolled it off. Oh, I see, yep. I see a problem map to it, isn't it? Yeah. Connect the beat. <clears throat> oh my god, dude. That works, but then we don't have any throw. Yeah. <laughs> it's just funny. Like, I wonder if you could have. Yeah, I guess it's. Yeah. If that doesn't have the slide, that's the problem. Well, I guess no. we can set it back more. That we could. Uh, it doesn't need the bolt. No, it doesn't need it. It's like we could reuse slide. this thing and just burn it back on it. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty much just slide yeah. this out. Yeah. Oh, the studs, you mean? Yep. Probably still have to cut them because <laughs> I probably could have got them off had I left them. Oh, Brent, <laughs> you're just going after it too hard. I guess I'll do that. I guess I'll, we'll, we'll torch those off. Yeah. I think we can beat that plate off. Yeah. All right. Torche, torche. Torche all day.
Alrighty, we've come up with a game plan. We found some like puck board, like we use at a hockey rink. Found some of that at a local shop. So we cut that up to do our sleeves, our shims in here for the center, for the, the uppy downy part. This is all assembled. Uh, I got the face of this clean. I've just got to grind two edges on here so this mech can slide properly past the, the center, the center yoke. Uh, Carl's gonna probably cut this off and the motor mount off because I think we're gonna have to switch that all up. And I'm gonna go over and cut on the plasma table a new mount for here and a new mount in the back because our plan is to lift this up about another wrench because the way Carl's figuring is if I wanted to do some profile dies or make something, I should just have a lot more meat in between than what I had going on. As much as you can anyway. So that's the plan. So I'm just gonna go over, cut these two plates Carl will probably clean that all up and uh, then we can at least get the diff like kind of mounted. We'll have it mounted and burned and then we'll be working on the motor. Technically it's like almost there. <laughs> Coolio. All right, so I'm gonna have to build a couple gussets here yet, but we have everything tacked. This is square, the face is squared to the front of the crookedness that whatever I did. It's evenly screwed up now, but it seems to work fine. Like it spins nice and goes up and down. It's got a good amount of throw and stuff in there. It's, 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 it's back to doing what it was. It actually like, it doesn't take much effort, so. So we got that. I'm not sure what we're doing here yet. We'd like to do this and get the pedal hooked up, but for now we gotta go run around, <laughs> find some, find a belt. We don't have a, any good belts, but I think the plan is we're gonna run my bigger motor. We're gonna come off the back and I don't know, 
honestly, I feel if we set it up on a uh, on a pivot and just the weight of the motor hanging off holding the belt would be ideal. There'd be some slip or something if it needed to. Right. I don't know. Maybe not. Figure it out. Yeah. All right. Cool. First we need is a bigger belt. Yeah. Where are you going to find one? Oh, nope. there's one right behind you. It's not bigger though. Nope. That's smaller. Uh, those are smaller. Might have to go to the farm and rob it off something there. <laughs> I have a funny feeling our motor wiring kind of crumbled to nothing so we are doing a quick patch with an old extension cord and we're going to do a test run even though this belt is like aggressively crooked right now. <laughs> and this extension cord is aggressively the wrong size. That's <laughs> how we roll. Just aggressive. <laughs> Six, six amp cord with a 15 amp motor. <laughs> you just don't run it very long, that's all. That's what they teach you in school anyway. <laughs> testing, testing. Either gonna work. What's up? <laughs> There's um
a little tighter, but. Yeah, well, it's, it's still not actually smashing it all the way tight. Like when you get to the end and it's easy, it, it, it does it. That's but. kind of the problem I've always had with it. No, yeah. not quite that bad, but it was pretty much like that. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 should, it should go right flat. So. It's probably, uh, dyes need some more work. It's, yeah, it's dyes and it's like, like I guess, I guess stiffness as well, mm. possibly. Like I, it's it's tightened down so that it's like making full contact, right? But yeah. Oh yeah, no, it is also dies. Yeah, see, we've got light in the front. Yeah. That little light in the front, I think, is oh. why it's not fully doing that. So maybe we've got to do this. Okay. And then when it smashes, like, and this deflects a little bit, makes that maybe a little bit worse. So we'll have to cut the upper one, get it squared. Yeah, we could either cut the upper one and square it, or cut the lower one and square it. Um, either or, really. Or just have it so that there's, oh yeah, that takes care of it, right there. I mean, yeah. Just made everything too sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're getting close. Carl's been like tweaking the dies. We've been realizing a bunch of flex. So we were just welding, scabbing stuff on to try it out and it is stiffing the, stiffening the crap out of it. I cut the axle tube off and welded it up. The uh, reasoning for is originally I thought it'd have a brake to vary the speed, but the more I'm using it, it just doesn't make sense. We've kind of rigged it up now where we just put a foot pedal and that's kind of, how we're running it and it works just fine. So that's how it's gonna be. I cleaned it up just to clean the, clean the overall look. Carl's now just, we're gonna go grab some steel. Carl's not waiting for me. He's just grabbing. <laughs> I was gonna go with the tractor and get this for Carl. I'm the tractor. <laughs> 
So we'll probably just throw it up on the front and then it'll be easier to cut. Because we want to do that. And then I think once we beef that up a little bit and pretty it up, it's going to lather a bit of paint on it and this thing is done. Good for, good for work again that I don't really have any use right now for, but that's not the point. Oh, we're going to find uses for it. <laughs>
right, look at that. We are, this sucker is like done. Good to go. I've named it Bam Bam 2.0 because, well, it was Bam Bam before. Uh, but when we uh, braced this up, we kind of kind of uh, covered everything up and whatever. It's the, the new version of uh, said hammer here. It Bam works Bam so much better. Uh, last night, we didn't see much for painting because we just had like a thunderstorm last night and the power went out. So we're all sitting there with head torches and just everybody's... Uh, Paint, paint brush. Yeah, just painting everything up. We got that painted. We got the our English wheel here painted up. I still got to do the one brace, but it's pretty much ready to rock, so that's good. And that thing just works awesome. We're about to do we'll do a little bit of a demo here. Fire her up. See how she does. Give, give her a good go. See if she got better after paint. <laughs> <laughs> working pretty good man look at that not making any weird marks no yeah must have got them aligned eh yeah right on candy dishes for days <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome That's uh, I think that's a wrap. This thing works really good. Makes really cool hats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. This is awesome. We got this one done. We got our English wheel while Ryder was out there, and we got that all prepped, so that thing's good to go. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think the next step is we're gonna go haul our coop in and uh, see what we can do there. Play with that a little bit. <laughs> Well, folks, we're a little far ahead in time. Uh, Carl's actually, at this point, actually gone down the road. Uh, he's heading back home. But I do want to thank him for coming out, giving me a hand with everything we've been doing here, um, or have done. He uh, helped us get us going. We got the, you know, the uh, power hammer all up and going. That thing's working great. He, uh, the next video coming up, we uh, do some work on the coupe. Uh, I'm just going to have one little video floating in, but he kind of helped us straighten out a bunch of stuff on it. So that was great. We got that all going. He brought me one of his power hammers. So that thing is just awesome. I'm just super, super happy about that. Um, we uh, used it on the coupe there. So, um, yeah, again, if you haven't seen his channel, check him out. He's got a channel, Make It Custom, Carl Fisher. Uh, again, want to thank him very much. So as always though, I want to thank you all for watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>